hello and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be talking about hatchbox pla because as you can see from this nice stack i ordered a lot of filament and to my surprise it was different and when i mean different we will get into that first they had changed their boxes, which this box design is pretty, pretty flashy, pretty cute. I like it. Um, Hatchbox 3D provides high quality 3D printing filaments for creators and invaders so they can bring their ideas to life and add their unique color to this world. And on the side, it gives pretty much what it is in your box. It says, unbox your imagination. Those are the new boxes. <clears throat> These were the old boxes. They were kind of plain Jane. Just pretty much had their whole story on the back. That was fine and dandy. I didn't mind that at all. I like the new boxes. I think they're sleek. However, when you open them up, you will see, this one is unopened, that the hole in the middle fits perfectly onto your Bamboo Labs AMS light with no issues. However, when I opened these boxes, smooth some that stuff out of the way, <clears throat> you will notice that there is a giant hole in the middle. This hole is 84 millimeters in diameter and no longer fits on the AMS, where this roll right here fits perfectly on the AMS. So you think, okay, just get an adapter. However, all of the adapters I had searched for were all around 55 to 70 to 80 millimeters, where this needs 84. <clears throat> So I did some digging. I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find why this was the way it was. When I ordered the filament, this is the style that was in the picture that I chose. So this is what I originally used. I use Hatchbox all the time. So I didn't understand why I received this and there was no mention, no change, no news of this at all. I even went on to Hatchbox website and there was no news of the new filament spools at all. So. I went on to Google, Googled an adapter, couldn't find anything, and then finally I went to Maker World. This was probably about an hour Google search, and Hatchbox has a Maker World account, and they had put on an adapter for this specific role. So it's just like a regular old adapter, you just screw it in and it works great. As you can see behind me on this AMS light, I already have one up and going. I put it to the test today. I printed an eight hour print for my new A1 right here that's still in the process. I printed this. Um, I did 60% infill, so it did take about eight hours just because I wanted it heavy. So. This is what the adapter looks like up close. Just rings. And I will have this linked in the description. So before I even tested this, I reached out to Hatchbox. And I'm like, hey, I ordered, this to me is a large order. I know it's not a large order to other people, but when I order this much, this is considered a large order for me. Again, I am a small print farm. Some people call me a print garden. Totally fine, whatever. Um, I had reached out to them and I had asked them, is this going to be the new spools? Am I going to have to use an adapter every time I order from Hatchbox now? And if they were gonna say yes, I would no longer be using um, Hatchbox. As much as I love them, I don't wanna have to use an adapter every time. I just wanna be able to open it up out of the box and put it on like every other spool that I've used. I just, I don't like the adapters. I'm worried that they're gonna fall off. I put this one to the test today. It didn't fall off, I had no issues, but again, 
for efficiency, I don't want to be wasting time and having to print a bunch of these and then putting them on the spools. I just, I, I don't like that. <clears throat> so, I emailed them last night and they just got back to me today. They said, thank you for reaching out. We appreciate your patience and understanding regarding the issue with the spool size. We are actively working to resolve the situation and revert the spool size to its previous dimensions. In the meantime, to assist you with your printing needs, you can download an adapter file from our website. Please visit the following link. If you have any further questions or additional assistance, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are here to help and ensure your experience with Hatchbox remains positive. So when you click on the link, which I'll put that in my description, it goes over and it just says downloads and it's just a spool adapter. And this is what it looks like. Download spool adapter. And again, this is the same thing that was on Maker World. So it is on Maker World. Just Google Hatchbox adapter and it will come up. It'll come up like this, like it's sitting on the print bed. So again, I don't know if anybody else has this issue. I found one other person who was questioning this on Reddit. Um, they said they ordered these spools and they were very large and everyone's like, oh, just use a regular adapter. However, we couldn't because again, it's 84 millimeters and everything else has been around 55 to 70 millimeters in adapters. So again, this is the regular one and this is the new one. I mean, you can see a good bit, like it's pretty large. I don't want to open it because um, I don't want it to get moisture to the filament. So I'm leaving it close until I use it. But um, I will take you over there and show you the adapter in progress right now. But again, I do, I will say, I do really like this kind of like honeycomb <clears throat> design. If they can do that on these, that would be awesome because then you can actually see your filament and do your filament level gauge. And that would be perfect. I would love that. Just not have this 84 millimeter hole <laughs> in the middle. So let's go over to the A1 and I will show you the adapter in the works. This did an eight hour print today and it's holding up. Again, I love the honeycomb look because I can see it. I can use my gauge and gauge the filament of how much I have left. All right, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. I just wanted to bring this to people's attention just in case you get a roll and you're like, what the heck, what do I do with this? Like I was all of yesterday evening. Um, I will leave the link to the adapter below. Again, this is what it looks like. It's pretty easy, screws on pretty good, holds the spool as you saw pretty well. So thanks for hanging out with me and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>